Hi, this is Dr. Ng with a ClinCam review video over nutritional assessment. We're going to take a quick look at inborn errors of metabolism. So uh, most inborn errors of metabolism are autosomal recessive. They are inherited, obviously. Um, the mutations will then result in a blocked metabolic pathway and uh, therefore an accumulation of the substrates that cannot go down the metabolic pathway that it should be going down. Uh, clinical severity can vary depending on what is uh, what enzyme or what mutation has happened um, or what enzyme is missing or what substrate to accumulate. The lab methods are to examine the proteins instead of the genes. So we look at enzyme activity, the metabolites and the protein structure. Uh, the specimens that can be used for this are blood, urine, amniotic fluid, and spinal fluid. Um, the methods are high performance chromatography, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, and tandem mass spectrometry, and thin layer chromatography. DNA tests are only done if the defective gene sequence is known for that disease. So let's start with the lipid defects. So the lipid defects all involve deficiencies in enzymes that often results in neurological disorders. And that's because um, like the brain is, is made out of a lot of fat and stuff. So lipid disorders tend to affect uh, the you know, central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Uh, so first we have Tay-Sachs disease. Uh, gangliosides build up in the brain tissue, which results in the destruction of nerve, nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. It is a fatal lipid storage disease that is evident at three to six months. Then we have Neiman-Pick disease. It's uh, a, a deficiency in sphingomyelinase, um, and which is a cellular enzyme of fat metabolism. The cells malfunction and over time die. And, and this happens in the brain, nerves, liver, spleen, bone marrow, and in severe cases, the lungs. Then you have Gaucher disease. Um, it's a uh, this misfunction of glucose cerebrosidase. Um, you get fat laden Gaucher cells that build up in areas like the spleen, liver, and the bone marrow, and it causes enlargement and malfunction of those organs. Crab disease, um, it impairs growth of myelin and uh, it is apparent at six months and death is usually by year two. And then um, the ones that, there's one that affect at carbs, it's called Hurler syndrome. It is a rare lysosomal storage disease. You get a buildup of glycosaminoglycans and organs, which is undigested sugar molecules that build up in the body causes progressive damage to the brain, heart, and other organs. For your protein defects or your amino acidurias, um, so you have phenyl, phenylketonuria, tyrosinemia, homocysteinuria, and maple syrup urine disease are all part of the newborn screening test that's performed on all babies that are born in the United States and is done by tandem mass spectrometry. So phenyl, phenylketonuria, uh, you see the decreased metabolism of the amino acid phenylalanine. Um, untreated, PKU can lead to intellectual disability, seizures, behavioral problems, and mental disorders. It may also result in a musty smell and a lighter skin. It impairs brain development, uh, and it is managed by diet modification. You remove phenylalanine from the diet, basically. Tyrosinemia, uh, you can't, can't break down tyrosine, another amino acid, um, and it's a building block of most proteins, and you get failure to th thrive in developmental delays. Alcaptonuria, uh, the urine turns black due to an accumulation of homogenistic acid in the body. Homocysteinuria is a disorder of methionine metabolism. It leads to a normal accumulation of homocysteine and its metabolites. You get myopia, osteoporosis, and developmental delays. Uh, maple syrup urine disease is a deficiency of the enzyme complex brain chain alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase that is required to break down all three of the brain branch chain amino acids, which are leucine, isoleucine, and valine in the body. Uh, so then you get developmental delays, poor feeding, lethargy, and it's treated with diet modification. Cystinuria, 
you get a buildup of the amino acid cysteine, which is a building block of most proteins in the uh, kidneys and bladders, and that causes kidney stones in children. That is it. Thank you.